It's been more than six months since Brandon Alexander Maloney lost his leg in a motorcycle collision, a situation that could have been fatal if it weren't for the help of a stranger. I kind of, I almost gave up. I kind of laid back and just thought to myself, like, I'm going to die on side of the road today. But there was uh, another medic, well, the um, Troy, that was a volunteer firefighter that was just happened to go by taking the scenic route. I don't know why I was on that road that day. Troy Burke, a volunteer firefighter from New Brunswick, was on his way home from Halifax when he happened to cross Maloney. Minutes earlier, a witness was applying first aid to help save Maloney's life, but that wasn't working. I was lucky enough to find the artery in all that mess, and um, I just pinched it. And it was like an elastic trying to pull my hand back in. And I knew that if I were to let go, that I wouldn't get a second chance. So... With all my might, I held on for as long as I could. After more than half an hour of keeping pressure on the wound, emergency services arrived and airlifted Maloney to QE2, leaving Burke without any further updates on what happened next. Just really wanted to thank him and give him the recognition. He kind of sat there in, in the dark for seven months, not, not knowing a single thing. Within 24 hours of making a social media plea to find Burke, they were connected. It's almost a little bit of closure for him and, and a little bit step in stone of closure for me. and. Um, I, you know, I'm sure we're going to be great friends. We need as many good people in the world as we can, whether you're stopping at a car accident to help someone or whether you're helping communities in need. It, it's nice to know that it's going to the good work is going to continue with Brandon. A leader in his community, Maloney has made a point to have a positive outlook on the situation. I'm able to, you know, go to my kids sporting events and be able to help anything and just the little things in life um, really mean a lot now since then. Megan King, Global News.